Hi, my name is Damien and I'd like to show you the Nucleus, our new product. At the heart, the Nucleus is a controller aimed at the project studio where working with the computer is part of daily life. Now we know that mixing with one of these isn't that easy. So having 16 faders, transport section and a dedicated unit is going to make things just a little bit better. We've used the same controller part from our matrix console and added a few additional touches to it. The Nucleus is more than the controller as it has an integrated USB sound card. It comes with two super analog mic pre's, super analog monitoring, comes with the Durende plugins, and a few other nice other features which I'll go through today. So let's look at the controller part. We can work with three different applications at the same time, or we have three layers of door control. The Nucleus works with the Huey and the MCU protocol, so we can work with pretty much every application on the market, whether it be Logic, Nuendo, Digital Performer, Ableton Live, Reason, Pro Tools, we're quite happy to talk with everybody. At the press of a button, we flip the profile and we have direct access to those applications with different soft keys available. So let's have a quick look at how we control Logic. Straight away, I have my mixer page open and I have all my faders and all my panning available. But we can go a lot deeper with our controller. If, for example, I wanted to add some sends, I have a send button with the quick access buttons over on the left-hand side. And here, if I choose destination, I can see the tracks inside the mixer, some already that have bus assignments and some that are empty. Now with the empty ones, all I've got to do is turn the dial and a list of all the buses available to me are displayed. Once I find one that I like, press the dial and it gets applied to the channel. Just like that. If I want to control the level of the send, I go to the next page, turn the V-pot, and there I go. Now what's nice is I can flip VPOT controls to the faders. So say in a particular part of the song, I want the vocal to have a little bit more reverb, all I've got to do is automate the increase of the send to the effects. Now say for example I want to add an EQ. What I can do is I can pick a track, say this one, drums, go to my EQ button and call up channel strip. Plugin opens up and all the parameters are spread across the unit. So here I can change the gain, frequency, Q, and again I can flip to the faders. And we can do the same with plugins as well. If I press the plugin button, again I can see a list of tracks in my mixer, some that have plugins and some that don't. And again, by turning the VPOT, I get a list of all the plugins inside my door. And when I find one that I want to use, I just press on the VPOT, the plugin opens up, and again, all the parameters are now available. So here we can see I can control the SSL channel strip. Now this will work with all audio units and VST plugins and also RTAS as well. Again, flipping to the faders, if I was to automate this, I get very smooth control. So the Nucleus can control multiple applications at the same time. Today I'm using Logic with Reason and Rewire. So my first layer is logic, where I'm controlling all the parameters. As soon as I press this, this is now communicating with reason. You can see now these faders controlling the mixer inside there. Flip back, call up the mixer, and there I am, back into logic. So very easy working between multiple doors. If I open up an instrument inside logic as well, we can see that, again, I can control all VIs as well with the parameters on the VPOTs or flip to the faders. With organs it's very nice because I have one hand free to play and the other one to change the tone as I'm playing along. With the transport bars, if I close the mixer page here, obviously I can move the timeline, I've got my record, I can press the automation button and I can change the status of each channel, so this one will go into right, this one into touch, and they're ready arm to go. On the right hand side, I can program some soft keys. Now these can be door commands or USB keyboard shortcuts. We have a USB keyboard emulator built inside the Nucleus so we can add things like cut, copy or paste. I have a top row here of buttons which can actually become submenus if I want. For myself I've created one called edit and I've got various options including cut, copy and paste. So if I close these window in the mixer we can see my range page and I have the jog wheel. So I can select everything, use the jog wheel to find the part of the song that I want to cut, and I can do cut location. 
This now highlights that section and I can copy it and I can paste it as well, all without a mouse or a keyboard. The whole point of the Nucleus is to be able to do pretty much 80, even 90% of your tasks directly off the unit and only resort to this when you really have to. We can also use the nudge function. If I hold down nudge, here I can move that section that I copied or just, in fact, delete it. I could even, for example, select another section, just like that, or maybe just a single part of the track and copy that, or again, nudge and move it to another part of my song. Now with Logic, there are so many shortcuts available that actually I can do some interesting things. One of those shortcuts can be naming tracks. Now, we're so used to typing with our keyboard, drums, kick, guitar, why not do it off the nucleus? I've created a shortcut called Name Track, which if I press, Logic is now waiting for me to type a name. And I've programmed various shortcuts, one drums, vocals, bass, and all I've got to do is press the dial and it types it for me. Now, the way I program keyboard commands is via the Nucleus Remote Browser. So here we can see my three door layers, and each one can have a different profile. So door one is logic, and user one, user two, these are the self-assignable soft keys that we can program. So if I go to user one and go show sub keys, and press the names tab, we can see all the names that I've programmed, as well as the shortcut for naming a track. Now, for sake of example, I want to change this horns to something else. I can go to key assign and go to learn. So here I can put a shortcut, whether it be control T, control S, or just type in a name. So if I do trumpet, press OK, and then name this function, like so, and save it to the nucleus, it's now available right here. So when I press that, it's going to type trumpet for me. So you can use your imagination and put anything that you want. The good thing about the Nucleus is it works around you as opposed to you having to change your workflow with a new piece of equipment. So moving on to the other functions of the Nucleus, we have the integrated sound card over USB. We have four inputs and four outputs, two analog and two uh, digital on SPDIF. We have the two SSL super analog mic pre's, the same from our consoles, the same you find in the X-Rack directly here. So you have mic input, phantom power, pad, phase invert, 80 hertz filter, high z input for instruments, and also an insert point as well. So we can add a compressor, an EQ uh, externally into the input path. Then we have a wet and dry dial. The dry gives me my input signal, whilst moving it to the left, to the wet, gives me my playback. And this allows me to create a blend of the two and have zero latency monitoring directly off the nucleus. I have two headphone outputs with a dedicated headphone level. So if I'm working in a small environment where I'm recording vocals in the same room, it, this isn't going to be a problem. The mix down button is really interesting. When I press this, my wet and dry dial no longer works. So all I have is my playback out. But what is really nice is I can take my insert points and apply this to the output. So I can put a bus compressor over my entire mix and that signal is sent back through the sound card and I can record it as a mix down inside my door. This is a really nice touch. We have the super analog monitoring level path on control here, so which will go to our speakers. If you don't want to use the sound card but you want to take advantage of the mic pre's, we have a direct out and you can feed this to any other interface that you're using. Maybe you need the output on digital, so with, via the sound card we can route the analog input via the digital output, or we can do the other way around and have the digital input go into the analog output. You decide what you want to do. Also included in the Nucleus is a USB hub, so you have four ports where you can add your dongles, USB hard drive, even an iPhone charger if you want. We have an external input coming to the Nucleus, so whether you have a DAT machine, CD player, another device purely that you want to monitor through it, you can. Also, we've incorporated the iJack, which we brought in the Matrix console, and this allows you just to plug in your iPod, your iPhone, and just reference any uh, tracks that you want to, that a friend comes around, and he'd say, hey, check out my beats, and just plug it straight in without any hassle. 
Connectivity is via the Ethernet, straight to the computer and the USB cable. So really, all you need is a set of headphones and a microphone to get started, and you have a complete all-in-one system. On top of all of this, the Nucleus comes included with the Duende plugins. So we have the channel strip and the bus compressor, which runs off your computer, but you can control off the Nucleus itself. 